Hey guys, this is Eddie. What I'm going to do now is show you how to download the program that you need to program your Mindstorms brick through your computer, which is what you should be doing because it is a lot more powerful than programming it on your brick itself because that with that little application, uh, you can only see one little uh, block at a time, whereas on your computer, you can uh, plan a pretty big program. And the software can be downloaded from this address. Uh, so lego.com slash en hyphen us slash mindstorm slash downloads. Go to that address, download this program, and just click download software. And then it's going to start downloading it. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows version. Alright, so it's downloading that. Okay, so I'm now running the installer that I just downloaded. So click Next if you're sure this is where you want to install it. Accept. Uh, Accept. Okay, so it's installing it. Let's just wait for it to install. Okay, so I've just installed the program, so you can see the desktop icon, LEGO Mindstorms EV3 Home Edition. Double click on it. I'm now in the program, and you can see that there are five main robots uh, in, in the main menu. And if you click on one of these robots, you'll see a pop-up menu that shows you uh, that you can just click on it to learn how to build and program it. Right, so if you click on that, right, it shows you four missions, and if you start from mission one, click start building, and it shows you uh, what parts you need to put them together and all that stuff. But um, that's not really the point of this video. The point of this video is I want to show you guys how this program works rather than just following another tutorial. So let's go back to the main menu and you can see here that there are um, some tabs in this toolbar here and if you click on the leftmost tab it brings you back to the main menu or the lobby. Okay, uh, so uh, what we want to do is basically go to File, New Project, right, and that brings you to the programming interface. So it gets rid of all the tutorials and all that. If you need help on any of this, then just go back to the main menu and there is some uh, EV3 help or software overview and you can learn about the programming yourself. But let's go back to our project and close all of the other projects. <clears throat> now a project can be made up of more than just one program. But right now, we just have one single program, so double click on that, and you can rename your program. So let's call our program Eddie, uh, whatever your name is, just call it that. And now the next thing we're going to do is, firstly, this window is a little bit annoying, so we want to close that window. So you can just click on this uh, close content editor and that will close it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is if you guys remember, um, the programming is made up of the starting block. And then we're going to drag blocks onto the screen that represents how the instructions are executed, the order of the instructions. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously move some motors. All right, so click on move motor. All right, so we're moving two motors at a time, moving motors B and C. We're moving it uh, forward. Or we can turn it if we want, but we're just moving it forward. Uh, and if you click on this, basically you can specify how you want it to move forward. So we want to move forward for two seconds. And here is where you can change the power level. 
So let's move at a power level of uh, 40. If you go back down, it actually becomes negative. So let's move forward at a level of uh, 32. Right, and this represents whether you want to stop moving at the end. So just click yes, break. So it moves forward for two seconds and then stops. Right, the next thing we want to do is we want to start turning the robot. So drag another move steering block again onto the screen. And now we're going to, instead of moving forward, all right, click on this, and we want to rotate to the right. And let's rotate for um, however many seconds. Let's rotate for half a second. Actually, rotate for one second is all right. Okay, so it's going to rotate for one second with a power level of 48. So the power level just represents how fast you want the motor to move. All right, and then um, we're moving at one second and we want it to stop at the end of this. And then uh, let's put another block on, attach another block at the end. And now we want to move forwards again for, um, let's say, on for seconds, power level of, let's keep all the power level the same, let's just make it 40. So going back to the program, uh, if you have a look, I made it walk forward for two seconds, and then I should have rotated it rotated it first straight after that for one second and then I'm going to move forward again for one second and then rotate it again for another second so let's test it out by connecting this to the brick your LEGO Robotics kit came with a USB cable, which I have already connected to the computer. So now let's connect this to the brick. At the front of the robot, there's a PC connection. So let's hook it onto that. All right, so now this is connected to my PC, but you can see that nothing's happened to it. Right, so what you've got to do is you've actually got to turn it on. So let's turn it on. And wait. Please update this programmable bricks firmware version. Go to tools firmware update. Right, so if you get that, I guess there's nothing you can do other than updating the firmware. So let's go to tools and firmware update. So tools. Uh, firmware update so you can just click on it and click download and you can see here it's downloading the firmware onto the robot All right so the robot is doing something so after a while it says firmware update successful so that's great click OK all right, and now we can close it. Okay, so now if you go to the bottom right hand corner, you can see here that there is a icon that says download. Okay, a download icon. All right, so you're going to click on that and that should download to your robot. So click that. And it's played some sort of sound effect. Okay, it's played some sort of sound effect, so that means it should be on your robot. So let's uh, go to your robot and have a look. All right now, let's go to the second tab from the left and uh, go to projects. 
and you can see here I've just downloaded the program Eddie. Alright, so I'm now going to put this on the floor and test it out. So if you guys remember these cables, basically connect one up to each end on the motor. So connect, and then connect the other one. Okay, and now these cables connect them to B and C on the top of your robot. So make sure you do that. The left hand side one is B and the right hand side one is C. Alright, hook him up to your robot. Now it looks like this. Alright, so let's run the program. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.